Yeah, yeah. What it is, people? It's your boy Doggy Diamonds. Another episode of Doggy Diamonds No Filter. Uh, this we, we got some light skin power going on. Yes, because it's rare. That's a fact. It's rare that I find people <laughs> that's my complexion like that. Yo, so I, I end up. He just walked in the room. Nah, this is Chris Gotti. <laughs> <shit we're going laughs> yeah, on. Doggy, you don't understand. <laughs> look, look, I'm an old head. I'm 51. Yeah. And that that dog skin, light skin is so real in my yeah, life. Yeah, man. So I know you had to deal with it too. Like I know people don't want to always admit to the things, but I fought so many dog skin brothers not because I had a beef, just because I'm light skin. Yo, and they you, would try and press me until they got put on their back. Then they realized, <laughs> God, man, ooh, wait. The, the colorism thing is is was bad because I was always told that I'm not really black. You're not really black. You got, and I'm like, how is that? Do you want to see my mother and father? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> shit happens, you know what I'm saying? My so mother my, was light-skinned, so... Your mother's light-skinned. See, my father's light-skinned. My mother's black. Got so you. So, it's eight of us. Irv is the baby of eight, you know what I'm saying? And it's me, then I got five sisters, another brother, and four is dark-skinned, and four is light-skinned. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, in the crib, probably, y'all had some little... Nah, we didn't okay, have no okay. problems internally, but out, outside on the street, absolutely. Like I said, that era, it was, again, light-skinned, dark-skinned. Yeah, yeah light-skinned. The, the divide. And then, and then we hey, had... Hey, J. Cole, shout out to J. Cole, my, holding it down, you know what I'm saying, for the light skin. Well, but then we Even had, Drake, I throw Drake in there, too. <laughs> look, but then we had light skin dudes do some dumb shit. Oh, man. Like, when Chris Brown did that shit, man, that, that almost set us back. <sighs> Christopher Williams. No, no, no. Don't put Chris Brown and Christopher the same. Nah, Williams. but they... Chris Brown is still on the dark side. So I will say, I will say yeah. that, since you brought it up, there are light skin brothers yeah. that are dark skin mentality okay <laughs> okay chris brown is one of them he's with yeah. us yeah. okay and then there's light-skinned brothers that ruin it for us also got you you know i could sit there and say as much as i love steph curry he's on the light-skinned <laughs> side you heard yeah, yeah. Uh, trey thompson you know what i'm saying yeah, clay yeah, clay yeah. clay thompson i'm gonna say who the fuck is trey thompson nah, clay, clay thompson, clay yeah, thompson yeah, yeah. sorry clay thompson light-skinned brother these are the light-skinned brothers but they're assassins yeah they're killers on the court but eh. but it's and not, all, in, all in all, I love all my people. Whether that's a you're fact. Like, whether you're light, dark, brown, Universal. caramel, blue, black, whatever. We, that's I right. love all my people. So, Chris <laughs> Gotti in the building. That's right. So much history with you. Where do we begin? Man, wherever you want to start, um, man. You know, um, the funny, the first time I saw you, I, I knew of your brother from Irv from um, Mike Geronimo video. That's right. It's the first time I saw him. Yeah, shout but then out I Mike. S- but then I saw you in the video one day, and I was like, yeah. "Hold up, <laughs> how the f- that ain't her, but yeah. they look exactly alike." Man, like, that's the that's the going thing. They always say we look alike. Like you don't again, think I look alike? you know what I tell everyone? What up? You know that's the, there's a chance that that might happen with the same mother and father. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> makes sense, right? <laughs> it just might happen that you look kind of similar with the same mom and dad. You hear me? But it's all good. Like, again, that's my little brother. He's three years younger than me. And mm-hmm. I, again, I tell everyone I raised her. Yeah. You know? Um, with the, the music industry, what did you see in him that you knew he was going to be great? <sighs> Man, there's so many things with my brother. Again, being the little brother mm-hmm. and I'm the older brother, watching out for him, my brother's keeper. So I always watched him basically strive to be better than me Mm -hmm. in whatever I did at that era, in that time. And all my friends was his friends, so he got a chance to grow up, let's say, faster. Got you. Right? So all my friends took care of my brother. You know, they made sure, oh, that's Chris, brother. We take care of him and make sure he could come out. So he's always playing with the older kids. But his persistence, his vision, unmatched. And unmatched, unmatched. And I, I've been around all of these guys. I said, again, if, if you don't, whether he's my brother or not, you know, we posted numbers, you know, historically. So I could make an argument, but I'm very direct. If my brother was, can I curse on Yeah, him? oh, yeah. Okay, I'm making sure. I don't yeah, want to yeah, start yeah, calling yeah, him yeah. So If my yeah, brother yeah. was an I'm going to be like, yeah, he was an asshole. Got you. But if he's something special, I'm going to say it too. It goes both ways. So I'm not, I don't hide or c- turn around the facts. If it's true, it's true. If it's not, it's not. Irv, and and again, just watching all the greats from a Puffy and these guys, um, the guys that created stars, Irv is unmatched, man. It's, you got Dr. Dre, you got Irv, 
You got Puff. I would even throw Jermaine Dupri in there. Yeah, Jermaine Dupri is highly slept on. Okay, highly slept on. Highly JD slept is on. highly slept on. So at the end of the day, when you look at hip hop in our culture, those are really the names. When you talk about other producers in the industry, you know, like a Timberland, who has great numbers, um, you know, the development of a new artist, Timberland can't get that. His one artist was Magoo. He didn't do it. He can't produce for Jay Z and tell me how great he is when we help Jay Z. Mm. Like once Jay Z's Jay Z, any one of us in this room could have made. I could Jay-Z. beat on the table. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. talented Jay was. So we're just saying <laughs> that the, the the real talent is the ground up artist. Yes. Making you, me believe in an artist that I necessarily wouldn't believe in because I'm gonna be real with you. It gets deeper than that. Because no, I'm, I'm, it, because I'm, it was right. those those people that I mentioned. They did it, but they also did it on their own without really. Let's say the label uh, pushing it, and then you know, especially, especially us because we had at the end like our universal that was with us cooperating against us. So that mm. was a whole nother aspect to the divide and conquer, to ruin the business that we created and started generating from. But that's a whole nother issue, you know, or story. Yeah, you know, you know what I want to say. Irv Genius came to me when he did things that we didn't realize he did till after it was done. Yeah. Like Time to Build. You got mm-hmm. Jay-Z, DMX, Ja Rule, and Mike Geronimo on the song. On the song. Now, all of these guys. Crazy. Now, at that particular time, Mike is a star. Mm-hmm. Mike, Mike is Ger- moving. Mike is a star. Mike, Mike is moving. He's everybody else is like, yeah. We like, who the fuck is these other dudes? Well, yeah. me from Brooklyn, I knew who Jay-Z was. Ja Rule, Relatively unknown DMX. I bring that record up all the time. In my, yeah, when time I to build is important. Interviews. Man. The reason I bring it up is because one of the things Ja Rule got criticized for was sounding like DMX. Mm. And I'm like, how does he get criticized for sounding like X when he was first? Wow. So again, just because they have a similar voice Tone, doesn't yeah. mean they're making the same type of records, which they did not do. And you know, it was so crazy because X kind of fell into the. I think he is sound, you know, yeah, trying yeah. to be like, like, come yeah, on, yeah, dog, yeah. you know that. X is family. Like, we had so many talks to him about it. But, you know, the public pushes you, and he kind of fell for the trap. But they never made a record that's similar. Like, job records that was hits was nothing like X records that are hits. Nothing. Their voice may sound the same, but how could you fix that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the It is what it is. Yeah, but if DNA. you get to it personally, Ja was first. Ja was on Blunt Records, even with Cash Money Click. Mm-hmm. We had him on the Mike Geronimo record with the time to build. So Ja was first if you get to it. And then X came after. And it's like, but you don't know. No one says that. Or, you know, they always put it. Ja is probably the most hated on or picked on artist, man. Yo, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. Most talented, I, I though. Don't want to say that. Yo, I went on record. You could go to my YouTube right now. What, maybe uh, two years ago. And I said, this is what I said. Ja Rule was never whack. Never. That's something we hang our hat on. It's so crazy yeah, you ja say Yeah, Ja Rule that. was never whack. Not a chance. First of all, all right. Every album, we break platinum the, or better. But let, forget the numbers. Let's just talk about skill because sometimes people have the skills and they don't do those numbers. I'm just talking about the talent. Ja Rule flow is complex like a Facts. Very complex. And the power of suggestion the power of the power sometimes made everybody believe that Ja Rule was whack, and he never was whack. <laughs> never. He never was whack. Hold on, and then they question, they question his, uh, let's say, street cred, which was, again, I'll sit here and say, are you absolutely crazy? Like, come on, man. Just let's look at history. Again, real is real. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not sugarcoating anything, but again, I'll go anywhere with Rule in any neighborhood and I'm all right. He got good energy too, though. He's great like energy. In person, he got good energy. He is great energy. And again, unless you walked in that man's shoes to be put on a pedestal and being really a superstar, then dragged down to the mud, it's unbelievable. To this day, right? To, well, don't tell you, don't, 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 I don't to this day. No, nah, I don't I don't believe to see that's a misconception. Talking like, about with the whole fire thing. Listen, the way, with the, the whole perception. fire thing. Again, the whole fire thing is a, again a misconception. Mm-hmm. Rule was the one to help bring in talent. He did not build the site. Got he did you. not 
raise the money. He didn't. That's not what he does. But right? I'm just saying. I think that was just another time for to people, to, people jump to jump on the campaign. Yeah, to jump on it. That's no why question. I hate you. Yeah, no question. But at yeah. the end of the day, he still. Again, 15 without years without having a, a studio album, he still makes millions of dollars. Good luck. God bless all of you artists out there to do that. Damn. So I don't care which ones you're talking about today. Let's see, 15 years later without putting out music, and let's see you tour around the world and still sell out shows and make money. Like, that's something special. And then again, in time, just like in anything else, time heals all wounds. It also made a new... So when I used to go out mm -hmm. with Ja with his concerts, it was all older crowd. Mm -hmm. Oh, you go out now, you'll see it. It's mm. all younger, mm. which now means the younger audience is refinding who Ja Rule is, whether it's from a bad place or not. See, I'm a businessman, right? Got you, got so you. So whether it was because you heard all the hate and they're Googling him to see who he is and then you go check his music, that catalog that's undeniable, that he could still go do a two-hour set with all hits. Facts. You understand? That is something special and rare. And again, these were national hits. These wasn't just local hits. These are across the country, number ones in the country. That's a different type of longevity you get from that kind of success. And that's something he hit. He has, and then, you know, when you talk Def Jam, Def Jam didn't have, Def Jam was a rap label. Y'all saved Def Jam. Oh, no question. <laughs> no, it's so deep, Def people Jam. don't understand why we, saved Def when Jam. we came to Def Jam, Leo is coming to Hollis, Queens, because mm -hmm. Irv quit. Okay, because he said, you guys don't know music up there. And he's coming to Hollis, begging Irv to come back to the, to Def Jam. Mm. And Irv is like, you know, you don't know how to sell records. Bad Boy sells more records than Def Jam. And, and forget it, Death Row was killing it. <laughs> Death Row. So how are yeah. you the best rap label and you got a bad boy, you know, on with Clive Davis, no disrespect to Clive, but he's not a hip hop guy yeah. at all. And he's like 70 something at the time. Beating you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in sale. Yeah. And then, you know, they was doing 300,000, 500,000, their biggest projects. Death Row's selling five and 10 million records. Yeah, Puffy's that's, yeah. doing two million. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? It's not even close. Like, And then when he came in, he changed the culture and brought it back. And Leo was getting fired. You know, all Kevin Lyles, all of them, Russell, they was getting fired when we came in. Mm. Polygram was letting them go. Leo told us. They're firing us and they're taking my company. He, he said, you cut me, I bleed Def Jam. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all Leo impressions is hilarious. So, Everybody got a Leo voice. So so, so <laughs> Herb brings yeah. DMX, DMX first. Ja Rule. Next. Jay-Z. Sorry. Jay-Z before Ja Jay-Z before Ja Rule. It was X, Jay-Z, Ja Rule. And X and, ja, uh, X and Jay Z is right on each other's heels. Because so yeah. you know, from a corporate standpoint, what people don't understand again is, Irv would get all the credit for the generated revenue for those brands, Whew. because that's what music is about. You know, I know artists, I mean executives that live on. I found, I, I, I'm a shout out Jeff Finster. Okay. Britney Spears. Got you. That's his, what he hangs his hat on. And that's why he's still a top exec. Oh, when, when the dude, um, Maurice Starr found and I'm not new say, edition. And, and I'm then, not yeah. saying they didn't do other things, but yeah. that's how they hang their hat. Got you. Okay, so if a standard is applied for everyone but us, then there's a problem. Yeah. And then that's when you know there's a problem. And and, and and it started with time to build. It's funny, and right? You can't and, discount the, the records we did. See, and it gets even deeper. I love these conversations mm -hmm. because it's things that people Oh, this hip hop. We doing this. Yeah, and but you know, hip hop, we started out very ignorant. Yeah. We're not ignorant no more. Nah, hell no. You know, we learned a lot. Yeah. So it's like and I'm far from ignorant. Now, mind you, I didn't understand these things maybe at the moment. When you're in that perfect storm with everything going on, you're focused on just doing what you got to do to maintain, and you're not seeing all these moving parts. Mm -hmm. But in hindsight, you know it's clear, crystal. So, <laughs> so, so what? What I didn't understand, um, why there was the perception that Irv didn't know what he was doing and he was stupid? Was that the whole fifty thing? Did, I didn't that, understand. I don't know. I never heard that. No, honestly. meaning meaning that you know at a because at one point it's just over. No, never over. We're doing over two hundred million dollars. You can't shut that down if you wanted to. Okay, I'm so there's a lot to it, right? So uh -huh. we're billing more than our parent company. Got you. How are you shutting it down? 
right? So there's some alternative or ulterior factors that's involved in this equation and you're not adding up as a fan or a person outside looking in. One being the biggest gorilla in the world, United States of America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On your back. Second is your partner cooperating against you with the biggest gorilla. And your partner being who? Universal. Universal, okay. Island Def Jam, which is IDJ, Universal. Mm -hmm. You know, Music Group is the parent company to IDJ, Island Def Jam. So we had to respond or answer to, you know, Universal. At the time, um, that's Vivendi, a French company that owns Universal that started they asking They own some liquor all, too, right? Yeah, that started asking us all these questions, like, what's going on? And like... Why are y'all asking us about what's going on? We're making hit records. Leave us alone. But that's because we didn't realize the government was on their back saying, oh. if you don't stop helping those boys over there, those Gotti boys, we're going to come after you. Mm. And that's what people didn't know. And again, we didn't go out and talk about things. We didn't. We j And we found that out during the trial. We found out we had to sign papers. That if we go to jail, they're going to take everything. Wow. You know, this is in order to get the checks they owed us because our bill, our legal bills was so big. And I took care of everybody that had any cases involved with us. It wasn't just me and Irv. One second. Congratulations. Y'all beat the feds, though. Like, <laughs> like, like, like no, but no, because people don't fact. know and y'all didn't rap. No, there's see, no, listen, what people no don't, such thing. See, what people don't <laughs> understand, nobody beats the feds. You and even, if I told you the deal they offered us just so they could get that conviction and get us to cooperate because they said in the in the in um the feds mind they never thought we would go the distance because we we're generating so much revenue and we wouldn't want to lose that revenue mm. and it wasn't about losing the revenue of course we don't want to lose the revenue but when you're not doing something wrong you i i'm just built a certain way you're not going to pigeonhole me and make me do something against somebody for no reason. I'm not Got gonna. You. I'm not gonna destroy Supreme, okay? Who has a hard enough life with these guys, and, and just because they're making me do it. Like that's basically what they did. They said, "You tell us on, tell us a story on this guy, and we'll give you a year." And we was facing twenty. They broke all the federal guidelines. Then they came back with another offer, six months. Each mm. and separate. You go in one time and then your brother goes in. Wow. So, so that's why the business, make the company. So yes. the business could keep moving. And we're like, no. The last one was probation. No jail time, but you got to tell on Supreme. And then we'll come in and, you know, give you probation and no jail time. And we tell them no. I said, I told my lawyer when they came with the let's stop bringing these offers. Let's go to trial. My lawyer was like, hold on, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, wait a second. He said, excuse me, can I get five? That's Gerald Chargill, the best attorney in the game. Facts. If he okay. got he, he beat so, the feds. But so when he pulls me to the side, he said, Do you understand? I cannot guarantee your innocence. Like they're offering you. He's like, he was amazed. He's like, in his 27 years in the in that federal southern district, he was like, I'd never seen anything like this. He's like, this is unbelievable, like unprecedented offer they're giving us. He said, now I and he was basically saying, I know your innocence, but I cannot Guarantee twelve people is gonna say that yeah. in a federal system. So you might get that twenty. He and let more. me know yeah. that the odds were up against. He was basically saying it's ninety eight percent conviction, two percent non conviction, Ooh. and and then I was like, get the date, let's start it. That's it. I don't want to hear no more. Let's start the. Let's get it. Let's get to it. And it wasn't anything but being on the side of right. And I just felt, you know, people always say, was you scared? Was you nervous? And the the God's honest truth is, I never feared anything going wrong except for one moment in the trial there was one moment in the trial i was like oh shit. <laughs> we're in trouble <laughs> is it is it something you could share like, of course okay, it was yeah. during the deliberation it wasn't uh -huh. the trial went we destroyed them in, okay. during the trial destroyed them but there was one part for the 12 jurors so the way the process goes after all the information's in and the defense rest we're the last defense rest we only called two witnesses okay mm. defense rest that's because we crushed all of their witnesses so i didn't have to the cross add examination anything. was i yeah. didn't have to do anything extra to make it more cuz they have to prove that you're guilty you don't have to prove that you're innocent. according to them right yeah, according, yeah, according to, to them, but yeah. perception is reality so at the end of the day as my two interview uh, thing, we, the defense rest, and then they start sending out notes to jurors. Like, if you ever been, I, I wish you, I hope you never experience a trial, but if you do, this is what happens. They have to get taught 
So we was up for two uh, charges, cons- money laundering and conspiracy to money launder. Mm-hmm. That was the two charges. And it was a million dollars. Just It sounds like a lot of money. I was spending eight figures in taxes. What the hell am I fucking laundering a million dollars? At that moment, they had records of me gambling almost two million a week. Mm. Okay? Me. Not Irv. Me. And they had my books, all my records, so they know all the real numbers. Yeah, there was money coming in. I was winning a lot of money in sports. I was betting on sports. I, you know, I managed Phil Ivey, one of the biggest gamblers in the world. Okay, so we was betting big money. They just couldn't understand it. But that's another story. Mm-hmm. So when the, the notes come out from the jurors, it's about define this law, which was conspiracy to money laundering. So right away I said, hold up. If they're on that conspiracy to money order, that's the second charge. That means they already found it's not guilty on money laundering charge. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm guilty on money laundering, I have to be, be guilty, guilty on the second on the conspired gotcha, money laundering. Gotcha. So they had found it's not guilty because they're up to the second charge. In the notes, could you define conspiracy to money laundering? This we're conspiring right now, and this is why I was so I was like, what the hell are they doing? Like. And it took me all of about forty-five minutes. I was, I was, I, I told my lawyer, "This is some." He had, and he has to write the notes to go back to define what it is. And when you read what that is, it, I mean, everything is conspiracy. You can't be. That's why they got such a high conviction. That conspiracy. Cause, cause conspiracy doesn't even mean you know me. Yeah. It just means you heard me. You thought you heard me. And if the judge, I mean, if the juries believe it, you are out of here, my man. Mm-hmm. You're gone. And I was pissed, and I walked in the uh, out in the hallway, you know. And our our courtrooms was packed. We had to give us another room just for how many people was coming. All my family and friends was there every day, and uh, I just went by myself, walked in a, a, probably like the size of this table mm-hmm. for about forty five minutes talking to God, and then I was cool again. Okay. But that was like the only time people would see me out on the street. And I'm on the front pages of every newspaper. And they're like, yo, what, like, what are you doing out? I'm like, what should I be in the fucking hole? Yeah, yeah, right. What the f- is wrong with y'all, yeah, yeah, man? Yeah, I'm fighting like, for my I'm life fighting right for, now. Yeah. Literally. But again, I got to keep going. I can't stop. It'll consume you. If yeah, you, yeah, yeah. If you let your it'll mind. It'll consume yeah. you, man. Yeah. And I don't wish that on nobody. You know, I, I was very ignorant to the court system. I didn't know you could be under investigation and had to pay all this money for legal fees and um, PR firms just to answer you no know, the government and they're not even charging you with a crime at that moment. So is it a point where uh was it Def Jam but the parent company was like we not fucking with y'all? Well there was a there's a consensus that was done inside internally and I got proof of that again. Okay. I just reaffirmed it recently because we went back to do something and they base I have a conversation where I won't name the names, uh, but these are the top of the top. Got you don't you. get any higher in the system than these guys. And they was like, they was talking to Jimmy Iveen. Mm. Me and Jimmy and my brother are very cool. Got you. Okay. And we're sitting there. We're at Apple's office, and Jimmy calls them but has them on speakerphone and doesn't realize we're sitting right next to wow. him. <laughs> and uh, they're basically saying, Jimmy, you're going to do business with those guys again? And we're like... I look at Irv, and I was like, when we left that meeting, I said, don't you ever fucking tell me these guys are your boys or your friends. They don't f*** us. Mm. We're out. Okay? And, then you know, people say blackballed or blacklisted, and they, oh, that's not real. or No, it's a thousand percent real. Thank you. Because I've been fighting that. Real. I've been fighting that for 12 years, telling people blackballing is real. And they say, oh, you got the internet now? You No, know, yeah. it's people that cut checks that say, I'm never giving you a we're check. not doing bit and our our affiliations. Yeah, and I'm with a piss people, in the pool. Don't you don't yeah. you do business with them because yeah. I do too much business with you. Yeah, you know it's business, right? If we, if we if we're all in business together and you're a sound guy, you're a camera guy, and then you don't really rock with me, you're gonna be like, yo, don't do. I'm making too much money with you. Why are you going over there for? And it's business in a certain sense, but this is different. Like this was straight blocking. All right. Now you said something that's very, very mind blowing. I can't let you get past that. You said Jimmy Iovine. Yes. Myself and my brothers. Mm-hmm. Cool. What the very, f- very cool is that? Again, this is all a misconception. Everyone thinks because Fifty was with Jimmy, but you know, Dr. Dre used to fly me and my brother out to his concerts before Fifty. Got you. It's the signing of Fifty made it weird. We was the first one to send Jimmy congratulations when 50 did well. 
It was business. Jimmy wanted to. How about this? Jimmy wanted to. Our deal was up. Jimmy wanted to, to sign us over to Inesco. While he, while Fifty was there? No, this is before Fifty. Okay, okay. You know I'm about saying? to say this is before Fifty, but this is how deep it is. Leo Cohen went to Doug Morris, who's the CEO of all of them. Got they you. all had to report to Doug. Jimmy Iovine, you know, Leo Cohen, you know, Sylvie Rohn. Everyone that's bosses had to report to Doug. He, we called Doug the boss of bosses because yeah. all the bosses had to report to him. So Doug Morris had to get in the middle, and he basically told uh, L- Jimmy, you can't take Irv from Leo. Mm. And Leo was pissed because we was like, yo, match the deal. Jimmy's going to give us more money. And Leo went crying like a little bitch. <laughs> Yeah, you can't do this. You can't leave. You, and he went to Jimmy, I mean, Doug. Again, think about what that is from a corporate standpoint yeah, yeah, and yeah. what they're doing to us. Facts. They're blocking us yeah. at the highest level. Yeah. Okay, so he's saying, no, we're trying to make business. We Like, Jimmy want to do business. We're saying match it or we out. We go over there. And he's like, no. And he got, because it's all under the universal umbrella, you can't do that. So when people talk to me about the whole G-Unit and Murder, Inc., First and foremost, G-Unit is nothing like Murder, Inc. It's an imprint, okay? They're under Aftermath and Shady, and it was a great move by Jimmy Iovine to bring uh, them in underneath Aftermath, mm-hmm. right? So he gets in with 50 uh, under Aftermath. Think of game. He shifts because he was signed to Dr. Dre. Mm-hmm. And he ain't know what him. to do with him. He shift. It's simple. It's, it, again, from the, from the perception of the people... You don't know that. But mm-hmm. internally, it's mm-hmm. it's under aftermath. Yeah. They just threw G-Unit on because it's going to give it a stronger brand. And that's business. That's a business move. See, Jimmy was making moves like that where Leo was not. Leo was trying to break and stop things because he's like always trying to keep artists down. Jimmy didn't care. He's getting his regardless. <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. win, you win. Yeah. And I'll help push it. Think of the, the way he moved with Dr. Dre. Yeah. Dr. Dre was cold as f- ice. You know what I'm saying? After death row, he came out and bricked. You can say what you want. That Dr. first Dr. Dre probably, is yep. an icon. Yep. He bricked. But guess why I give him so much credit? Jimmy fucking Iveen. Yeah. He didn't quit on him. Yeah. Leo would have Leo would have left Irv and be like, gone, I'm gone, <laughs> yo. You know, one day we went in Leo's office and um he's got a picture. Of 50 cent, almost the size of this whole wall. Holy sh! And he's hugging 50 like this, and he's like this. Now, we, mind you, this is behind us, so if we walked in, it would be on this wall. If we came in his door, his office, his desk was there. So we don't see it. He, he called us in for a meeting. And then he tells us to turn around and take a look. And then asks us, do we like that? So you could, this is what we're dealing with. Mind game, mind games like that? This ain't no mind game. This is Wow. Again, if it's black on black, he might have got smashed. You Damn. know what I'm saying? That's the difference between white and, and corporate business and black. If it was Suge Knight, everyone's like, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it gets physical. White gets away with this and it's not the same. And then yeah. people say, like, how does this dude do that? Like, how does he tell? The guys that saved his career, the reason he got to all the accolades he got is because we did it for him. And we we co-signed him and and, and got him in. And he goes and puts that up, and we turn around and look. Irv's like, "Yo, you serious?" He said, "It doesn't it look good." <laughs> what was his angle though? What was the? He's letting us know we don't fuck with us the same no more. Wow. How you gonna win? You tell me. I don't know because people think fifty. Did. I said even if you take Ja out the equation, I'm still over hundred fifty million dollars. Go ahead. I I like that. I like that business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just that clean and simple. And then remember, it's all even. All they did was take Murder, Inc. money and throw it over to Jimmy. It's still Mm. universal. Oh. It's no loss. So regardless, they're going to win. They can't lose. Wow. I never... never... It's Poro. You can't (laughs) lose. (laughs) Wow. Wow. But that's business, right? That's business. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's so in hindsight, like I said, I understand the moves. You didn't understand it at the moment. After that meeting with Leo, Irv came back, called the staff meeting, said it's over. We can't win here. So when people say we Irv got crushed, no, he quit. Got oh okay. We was it was and we had a we had a a huge overhead. They had to keep paying us. We paid all our staff, and then we just stopped putting out music. So. We, and and again, we let John and everyone do what they have to do. If you want to, I'm, Irv was like, I'm not 
fucking with these niggas. I'm not doing music. He was so pissed off. Irv is in um, numbers is in the billions of dollars of generated revenue. Mm. Billions. And he's like, how could they treat me like that? And and rightfully so. Irv is not wrong for looking at it in that capacity. Like, so, so, Chris, as black people, do you think we take everything so personal and white people how like is that business? personal that is absolutely business no, that's what I'm saying we that look is at, not personal no, but, but you we, know what if it was ahead. emotional or personal we would have smashed some of them that's gotcha. right that's that's personal gotcha. like I'm gonna hurt you you know what I'm saying like you're, you're really ruining my family life this is my livelihood for my family this is how I take care of my family my mother my father my kids are you kidding me like we would die for that I would die for that so when you say that it's not personal but that's where it could have easily went because of what they did. And they look at it like, you made a lot of money. You got something You know, one away, of right? the most racist things you're going to get in music or in business is when someone tells you, that's a lot of money for you. Mm. That's a, You made a lot of money. What? I will man, How much I'll money jump you over made? this yeah, table. Yeah. Yo, that would be, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's like, yeah, yeah. you know, that when I heard that I would go crazy, my brother would have to calm me down because I would go crazy when they said things like that because that is the racist, most racist statement in business. What do you mean? It's not a lot for you, but it's a lot for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot for me, but that's your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. what you pay in taxes. Nah, nah I, didn't yeah. play, I didn't play that. I'm yeah. a, I'm a, I call a spade a spade. You say yeah. something, I don't, I don't care. I'm going to speak yeah. up. You know, I probably got a little different type of relationship with everyone than Irv did. Irv was way more um, politic, politically Politically correct, yeah. Correct with yeah. things, and I couldn't hold my tongue. So I stopped. He would tell me, stay out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because he knew I would get crazy when I heard something sideways and he would play the game more than me. And I'm like, but it's, we don't need to play the game. We got the leverage. I've heard that before. You, you, Somebody told me, you're not playing the game. And I was like, yo, I'm not f***ing playing. That's the problem. <laughs> Everybody's playing and at I'm tall. not playing. I'm dead ass. You know what I'm saying? So, so, So for the perception of the people uh, that don't know any better, 50 Cent yeah. destroyed Murder, Inc. And he actually... He, According he, to who? According to According him. According to the perception in him, yeah. And according he, to him. Listen, he's going to take credit. He took credit for getting shot nine times, and he didn't. That's a, okay. Let's talk about you. He took credit for not putting out uh, you know, statements or things of like that. I got proof of that, but you know, he, but you're going to still listen to him, but it's all good. It's like I have no beefs with nobody. I, like at the end of the day, that was a moment in time. Uh, it is what it is. Like him and Ja was on the same plane before. Did you ever see that picture? I they was right so, yeah. opposite each other on the play. If it was real, you cannot do that with real beef. I've been in real beef in my life. Yes. I don't know if you've been. It's on site. It's on site. It's on site. I've been in real it's beef. There's no yeah. stopping it. Even if you don't do it on the plane, it's right off the plane with a phone call. Like, are you crazy? That's it on the plane. It's, if I see somebody that I don't like, I don't I don't give like only time I might give you a pass is if you with your it's mother not, or it's, children. It's really it's and again, a lot of his friends that he had around him, I might have raised them. Mm. Right, I'm from Hollis, Queens. A lot of those dudes was from Shadyville. Shadyville's right next to Hollis. Like I know all of those dudes, mothers, fathers. Like, don't play with me. So I would tell them, like, you can be over there. Get your money, man. Like, get your money. It's all about getting money and and all of this. All of that beef and shit don't mean nothing, man. It's really it's pointless unless he killed someone in my family. Like that's something you can't get past, right? Nothing like that even close to being happy that have happened so to me it's like what are we talking about like he said so many detrimental things about things but you know what there's so many internet is full of trolls and, and even even to <laughs> even to this day though how do you uh deal with him saying some of the things that you know is not true like you can't say, control it yeah. like it's stupid yeah, yeah but it's good it's it's like that's you know in business Whatever way you're successful mm -hmm. is the way you're going to return. Mm -hmm. Okay? So for 50, he's always been successful by downing someone. He, look at his history with his whole team, Floyd Mayweather, us. Everyone is the same. He treats you the exact same because that's the way he became successful. Mm. You know? And that's, again, I can't knock someone that's been successful. Like when he had hot records, I'm like, people see me dancing. I'm like, man, what you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kept it a buck, I promise you. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, yo, that's his way of winning. It's all right. Y'all never saw each other, you and him? Yeah, we seen each other about eight, maybe seven to eight times in history. 
Mm. You know, again, you know, I've touched him a few times, you know what I'm saying? But that's all because of rule. Verbally, you mean, right? Oh. Nah, physically, you know the rules. Come oh, on, man. All right. Well, we ain't going, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, people don't know that, though. It like, is. People think. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not out here to broadcast yeah, that. Yeah, people think. You Less know, is more. Yeah, because people just think, <laughs> you know, y'all took L's yeah. and that's it. Hey, we took L's. Yeah. The government helped them. Yeah. We didn't take no L's on the street. Holla. Yeah. <laughs> Holla. So when I hear yeah. all of the crazy talk with uh-huh. him, like, and he's the biggest artist in New York, mm-hmm. I never seen him out by himself without police. I never moved with police. Like, come on, man. When we was on, we, it was all our people. It was like, how could you not have celebrated in New York as the biggest rapper at one moment in time in all of the hottest clubs? When he told me in the club, the, the video's in the, th- in the studio. It's not in the club. Come on, all his videos is green screen, which is fake. Again, y'all just don't understand. It's all concept, and he won. It's cool. It's music. It's entertainment, and there's no reason. See, today, you don't have to pick one artist. You could like everybody. Yeah. You could like Fifty and Ja Rule. It's two different. I'm one of them. I like both of them, and I refuse to pick a side. And there's no reason because I don't got a nickel in that quarter. Exactly, (laughs) and that's the to me the most mind boggling thing. When I in in the heyday of that beef, uh, I would go out, and I would go out to clubs, and I'd be with a few of my dudes, you know, and just go out. Maybe, maybe five. Sometimes I'd be out with twenty, thirty, but you know, five, ten dudes, whatever. We go out. And you walk in the club, and the first thing you heard was, I'm like, what the? <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. And you find out real quick that most of these guys was fans because mm. I would approach them. I would uh, every uh, every time. Every, I don't care if you was with 30, 50 dudes. I'm coming to see who you are. And, uh, and I would tell them whoever's with me, look, I'm going over there. And they'd be like, come on. Because I would never, I never ask someone to do something I won't do myself. Got you. So if you was with me, I would tell you, I'm about to go over there. It might get crazy. You could leave if you want to leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my dudes was with me. So at the end of that, I go and ask them, and you would hear the story. Like, I was like, man, you a fan of his music? I'm saying, I'm really Murder Inc. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm really Murder Inc. So what's up? Like, And then I would just talk to him because I understood how to deal with, let's say, violent predicates. <laughs> um, for educational purposes, <laughs> yeah. what does it feel like and how did you overcome what it seemed like everybody from your record label to some <laughs> friends to close people turning on you, the government. <laughs> how, how do you, why are you saying? Man, that's God, yo. And we, you know, raised right. I'm raised right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got morals and values that you can't compromise. And that's the bottom line. So I'm a big believer in staying on the side of right. Um, if I fuck up, we all make mistakes. I'm, I have no problem admitting a mistake. But if I didn't, man, I'm stubborn as shit. Like, I'm on the side of right, yo. And at the end of the day, whether the world understands it at that moment, because the truth all come, always comes out. Whatever's in the dark always comes to the light. So it doesn't matter if it happens that moment, it will come out. Mm-hmm. And and I'm a big believer in that. You know what I'm saying? And I tell, you know, I t- listen, I tell... I tell girls, if you out doing something, I don't give a f- mm-hmm. If I'm with you and you and you out cheating, let's say, mm-hmm. it'll come to light. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm not straight. I'm not chasing you I'm not going around. through your phone. And- I'm not living like that. Yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I refuse to. And I feel you should live the same way with me. And you'll know it. You don't need me to tell you or see something. And that's it. And, and I feel the same thing with all of this. This truth is going to come out. You cannot hide it. I'm not sitting here lying or making up a story. It's very easy to talk. And every time I talk, you're going to hear the same story because it's coming from real. You know? It's no need to put sugar on it and sweeten this shit up. No, this shit is sweet enough, yo. What, what, so was it a point where you was like, not too, too? But was, was you ever like that? You know, um, I never expect... There's only certain people in my life that I expect that from. Mm-hmm. The rest, if they don't stay there, I get it. Mm-hmm. Right? There's all, how many friends do you really have in life that you that could you could count on to go through things like that? Which and guess what? I'm blessed. Mm. I mean, I got friends across the country that stuck with me from beginning to end. That when the, when everything went on and I had private investigators, I said, "Listen, I don't know who's who." 
Because mm. someone's telling something. Yeah. I'm going to find out. It's I'm investigating everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting you all on paper to yeah. see yeah. Real. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what I did. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, had what's, to. What's you the did. value of that to know exactly how Dex Diamond, like, I know exactly who this man is. Mm -hmm. You can't, you cannot ask me to anything about him. I know exactly who he is. Like, that's priceless to me. Priceless. So when I see all these other crews and people going through things, it's because they don't know who's who. And, they, and I do. And I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Now I make new friends. And I, I trust everyone to a fault. Mm -hmm. You know, to an extent, though, I don't just give you the keys to the car and the house. But I never look at someone. I just meet someone. Man, we open for everything. You know what tripped me out? Um, I don't know if it was for you when I seen um, 50 and Jay-Z do the Reebok commercial. Yeah. I was like, but ain't. Nah, there's a lot of background behind that, too, because Ja was supposed to do a Reebok deal. Mm. So the guy behind that was Steve Stout, Charlie M. Got That's you. what we call Stout. Okay. <laughs> Charlie M, he pulled the deal. But again, business. We was mad at the moment, but in business is the right move. Now, how does Jay do that with, how does Jay do that That's with what, 50? Yeah, but nobody asks him these questions, though. Who, Jay? Yeah, Because Jay makes, like, Jay's a different animal, right? You could you could ask me things that I'm going to answer with. Jay's going to look at you like, yo, I'm If not. you do an interview with me, I'm asking you that you ain't got an answer, but I'm going to ask you because well, I got a lot know, of questions. At the end of the day, yeah. I would sit there and say, uh, that stemmed probably from Irv a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the timeline of uh, Irv did. We was we, we was about to sign Nas. Nas, I was going to ask you that. So yeah. that's really the timeline right there. And then Jay got offered to do his sneaker line and do a commercial with him, with Reebok. And he didn't turn it down because he was like, if you want to do business with my enemy, I could do business with yours. Mm. And these were, you know, we had conversations, yo. Yeah. You know, Jay is the brother. That's our brother, man. That's the man. Whenever I talk to Jay, I'm humbled because I can't believe how far. Even though we predicted it, like we used to tell Jay, you could sell potato chips. <laughs> yeah. You could sell a candy bar. Like, why is it Babe Ruth candy bar? It could be Jay-Z candy bars. And this is way before Rockefeller uh, did Rock Rock Aware. Mm. That's how far Irv, Irv's a visionary, man. Like, Irv's a visionary. Like, there's no one. Jay, man, Jay would come and sit there and wait to talk to Irv. He went, like, to make a move or decision. Like, when he said, got to consult Irv Gotti, y'all, heads got to roll. Yeah. That wasn't a line that was by chance. Like, Jay is talking real. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, you know, see a lot of those lines, too, like some of those one line punch lines, like, you know, I've been spending money from 88. That's preen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Full time job not to kill. That's preen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Those were words, and Jay would take it and put it in them songs. He was like, ooh, that's cold. And then next so song, he heard the song. line. Got you. Got nah, you. Jay is a beast. You yeah. know how hard that is to do? Like, you know, that's really one of his talents. He could take whatever we're doing and make it into a hit record. You made it a hot line, I made it a hot song. Like, got you. Yeah, he's yeah. really Literally. real with that. Yeah. Nah, he's a different animal. All had, man, most respect. And again, when. Actions have reactions, so that's why I don't blame him with the Reebok stuff Got you. to tie it back. And we had this talk. I told Jay, man, I said, because these are Irv's moves. Mm -hmm. Now, we had a conversation before we even talked to bringing Nas on board. We went over the baseline to talk to Jay about it, and Jay co-signed it. That's the only thing I didn't... I was like, damn, you said it was cool, but it really wasn't cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I understand why it's not cool, because Irv should have known. You can't ask your man that. Yeah. Don't ask to fuck with your man's enemy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Irv asked him, like, yo, is it all right if I do that? Like, And he, Jay looked at him and said, yo, that'll be good business. But I know in hindsight, he was really saying, are you really serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, mother yeah. Like, like, why would you even <laughs> ask me that? <laughs> but, but being a good dude, he wasn't going to be a Block either. Nah, he he's money. like, yeah. yo, it's a good deal. Yo, yeah, Nas. Yeah. And he said, Nas is nice. He said, and it, our beef ain't really on it on that level. You know what I'm saying? And then Irv was like, ah, right, yo, I'm going to do it. And then Stout is behind that, too. Mm. You know, Steve Stout was behind that one, too. You know what I'm saying? So, What, uh, what role did Steve Stout play in a lot of that beef? Man, though? Stout is the... Okay, if you don't give Steve Stout, Charlie M., my man. You know, we know Irv and Stout was in the second grade together. This is how Holy long we... Shit. Okay, if you don't give Steve Stout the credit, okay, for changing hip-hop, to popular music and bringing in a real dollar from marketing, 
you're out of your mind. You don't mm. know history. It's Charlie M, period. It's no one else. Mm. It's Steve Stout. That's the only name. He changed his culture forever, and that's why it's where it's at, because he did it. Mm. And think he left the music industry. He was with Tom Matola, Then he was with Jimmy. Then he went and started a marketing firm. Mm. And then he took the marketing dollar and branded artists like a Jay-Z. Mm. You know, he was the one that first see the power of what Jay was about. So when you hear Dame maybe talking about, you know, I hate talking about them because I'm not, but I do know stuff, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you hear Dame always talking about Steve Stout, but that's because Stout was like, yo, I could get some money, and then it was different money, okay? It wasn't the same type of record deal money. This was marketing dollar money, which is different money for Jay. So and it was it, just for Jay-Z, but it wasn't for Rockefeller. Right, he's the artist. Yeah, so that's... But it's not the, even that. It's not about that, because in, in hindsight, that uh, if I make Jay-Z bigger because I spent marketing dollars, Rockefeller's going to naturally get bigger. Yes. So it'll, it'll affect me one way or another, but mm -hmm. that's not what it was. He felt the divide and conquer, because he was basically feeling like Jay is getting pulled from him, from Lior, you know, that's how he felt, you know. But at the end of the day, that's their decisions or their choices. I can't really speak on it more than that. Doing business with Lior, he gets called a culture vulture now. Well, you know, Dame started the culture yeah. vulture. And th again, there's truth. There's there's truth in what Dame says, and then there's some things that's not as, you know. Lior, Lior uh, would always say, uh, if he did this in rock and roll, he said, my name would be in lights on a blimp <laughs> flying around the city all day. <laughs> uh, and he's probably right. You know, he just think hip hop wasn't meant to be what it is. Today, yeah. It wasn't even thought that it was going to be successful. They was like, basically, yeah, take a couple of dollars, guys, shut up and get over there. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna rob and steal everything from you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which they did to the early. Artists. But they did that with all genres. It's just they took less from other genres than they mm -hmm. took from us. They mm -hmm. took more from us. Okay. So at the end of the day, the business is about rape and pillage. That's what I call it. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, you're gonna get taken advantage of if someone spends millions of dollars on you to make you into this star. They want to earn on that for as long as possible. So, and it, it make I understand it, but today they don't do it, so I don't understand it. That's why I created Adventure Music. When you, when you, when you, uh, when you was in this, when you, when it was disc records aimed at you, mm -hmm. was you like, oh, shit, that's that's kind of cool. well. It was never honestly it was never aimed at me. I didn't hear. Um, the Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes said some stuff, and I stepped to Buster. We, you know, you know, Buster's a funny dude, but it, you know, we're good. Mm -hmm. You know, he would be like, "I salute you, General," and then all of a sudden, Fifty got hot, and he just switched up with no apparent reason. Oh yeah, I didn't. You didn't even know what that was all about. I didn't understand it. Okay. I'm a I'm a very straight, real person. Like, how does this switch happen? And then they, you know, there was a lot of things that went on. We had a meeting with. Uh, Russell Simmons at a Palms restaurant and he brought in Chris Lighty and he and God bless the dead you know he brought in Chris Lighty and he brought us in and mm -hmm. we were supposed to go there with no people just us Russell was like don't bring your entourages so when we pull up we go there Lighty got like 20 dudes just happened I know most of them but mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying he got like 20 dudes with him so I go to Russell like yo what's this you know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. tell me, that, should I make a call? I'll yeah, get, yeah, I'm about I'll to say, 50. I know you're right, yeah, yeah. I said, I'll get 50 dudes over here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If that's the game we playing, I could do it. That's not a problem. And he screams on Chris, you don't want to do that to these guys. There's no reason you shouldn't. Have. You know, but they was like, we did things. And I'm like, man, I claim my work. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. claim my work. If I did it, I'm like, yeah, that was me. I, the stuff he was saying, he was like, I, I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Mm. And that's on my kids. Like, I don't even know. Like, it's like, and it was just such a stupid meeting. And we're looking at Russell. Like, why'd you call this meeting? He's, he has nothing. He's just a saying stuff. And he's actually with 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. And then he also has Buster. So it made me understand why Buster probably flipped. But at the end of the day, you know, we dealt with all. I, I, this is me. Everyone was dealt with. Mm -hmm. How did you feel? <laughs> Listen. I'll leave it right there. Everyone from, everyone from the Eminem camp. Mm. All the D12, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The only one I didn't see is Banks. I never caught Banks mm. or, or had any <laughs> inter any dealing with him yeah. again. And I have no beef. I have no beef. That's the yeah, Ill yeah, yeah. At this, at, at this that, state, I, yeah. I probably was in a room with him one time, mm -hmm. and I remember him saying to them while they walking by, he's like, "Yo, look," and it's me and Lloyd standing right there, just me and Lloyd, and he's like, "Yo, look." 
And I just looking at him, and then uh, 50 was like, nah, it's all good. Let's go. Mm. He didn't know I got like a 1,000 behind <laughs> me. But it's all good. If they Again, we was at an awards show. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, again, and that was the, that was the only time I literally seen these guys, and I was out everywhere. Mm. That's what I'm trying to explain. Like, if anyone in that era tells me they didn't see me, you know, I, I got more lawsuits than anybody, so I got proof. <laughs> because the DJs would play those disc records you talk oh, about. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. those are not made for the club. But I would still be the most polite person. I'll go up to DJ. He would shout me out. Yo, Chris Gotti murdered in the building, and the next thing I know, he's playing the disc record. So you're trying to incite the riot. That's basically what you're doing. You want the audience to get excited. And I was like, yo, what you doing? I'm here. You just shouted me out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my fault, my nigga. Yo, it's all good. Next thing you know, he plays another one. So then I go to pull him out the, the, the booth or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's, him. to me, you threatening my life. You're yeah, stern talking to. Nah, but you can't do that. I'm a man first. I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. F- all this music. I'm a man. For, you're going to respect me as a man. And if not, we could get to it. That's just me. With Lloyd, um, y'all made Lloyd a superstar. Yeah, with, yeah. yeah. How, with the way that ended, was that bad, you know, like disgusting? Well, to you? you know, it's it's so sad, right? And I'm sure if he was sitting here, we could have a real discussion, you know, because they didn't understand what was going on. They they're artists. Think about gotcha. what we're dealing with yeah, with yeah. the government. Yeah. More than anything, just think of the government. We can't put out music. We're not getting the same support no more, right? And then you throw in on all this with fifty. And he might have been like, I didn't sign up to deal with all this shit. And I get it. Mm-hmm. But again, just like I tell in relationships, this is, it's a relationship. There's a way to break up with your bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to drag her through the mud and let yeah. her see you fucking all these other bitches. And there's a way to say, yo, we good. I ain't really, we, it ain't going the way I expected. It's all good. You, you mm-hmm. might be upset or whatever, but it's cool. All my exes fuck with me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Because I don't drag them. You know what I'm saying? And there's a way to do that. I got a daughter. I got five sisters. A mother. Like, I understand how to treat a woman. Like, and I'm not saying he's a woman, but that's a relationship. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a way to do it. Now, when he didn't, he comes and he's all upset. We we took care of him from when Katrina hit. His family was out there. We relocated his whole family to Atlanta, gave him money. We didn't put it on the books. Mm. This is out of our pocket. Here, mm. my nigga, come on. Mad clothes. Like, he lost everything. Wow. So there's a way to say, hey, I want to save my career. There's a way to do it. And you would have definitely gave the of blessing. Of course we yeah. did it with John and Shanti. You know, the only reason Shanti has anything to say, and me and Shanti are like this, mm-hmm. is because Irv and her was in a relationship. So it's different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like a relationship? relationship? Come on, that's not news. I mean, that's but you news. know, it's speculation, but you just it's confirmed. It's not speculation. Okay. It's okay. not speculation. Yeah. It's just out there. Okay. Irv and Shanti was in a relationship. Because at first they would say it was Irv and her mom. Nah. Yeah, they would come say on. it was mom too. Tina, Tina, that's mama J. Oh, okay. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And then again, you can't, it's like you can't want one thing and then not accept the repercussions we'll of it. Come with everything. You gotta come it, with it all. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. the one thing I was I was like their counselor, yo. <laughs> they would go, because when they was beefing, they would, one would go to the four seasons, the other one would be at the risk carlton. And I'm going back and forth to, yo, it'll be all right, yo. He's like, yo, I can't do this with this. Listen, you can't do this because you got to get, and it go to her, yo. Because he would, she would catch him with other d- right? And what do you expect, Irv? <laughs> what do you expect? And then she, Irv's thing with her was her loyalty. Cause, but Actions have reactions, so I never want to get in the middle because that's their relationship. And the whole time, Irv is married. Nah, he wasn't married at okay, that time. Okay. He already got, you know, Deb. You know, Deb, look, Deb is still family. Are you crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is what I'm saying. We don't Irv, 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 and Deb is like this. Yeah, they grew up together. Yeah. Like this, he yeah. gonna take care of Deb. Like you crazy? Like come on, man. He made a promise to that woman's mother. Mm. Like our word means something. Yeah. And to this day, he takes care of Deb. Deb is good. Dope, you know what I'm saying? Dope. So at the end of the day, say what you want. We know what we're doing, and we don't need to broadcast it. We don't need to talk to the world about it. This is per- personal. You know, there was a TV show, Gotti's Way. The reason we stopped, we was the number one radio show. You know how stopped? Because they wanted more about the family. Yeah. They didn't sign up for this at that moment. He didn't want to put the kids' business out there like that. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, the TV don't care. They'll dive in. And Yo, it, they'll destroy it ain't even the money. Ain't, the money don't mean shit. Yeah. Yo, I know people say, oh, you got money, you can say that. Yeah, we're not. You know what I know? I know how to make money. Yeah, and your integrity I learned is that. worth more than money. I didn't go to school. So anyone thinks I went to school, no, I learned the hard way. I busted my ass. 
took care of everything I had to, and now I learned how to make money. Simple and plain. So where, where's um Urban uh, Ashanti relationship right now? Again, they're cordial. That I see him. He just was talking to her, you know, but they're not the same. Because Ashanti looking good as yeah, she working out. She always did. But she was she, just out in Trinidad. I told yeah. her it looked like she had the time of her life. You know, yeah. I was like, damn, I should have went out there because that that looked like she had the best time. I re- I really watched her on the gram for that. Like I never really watched her until mm-hmm. I seen her in Trinidad like that, and I was like, damn, that's fun as a point where you was like, yo, y'all fucking up the business though. Nah. Okay. Nah, but you know it was. You don't say it, but you feel certain yeah. things because because the, the hits was coming out though. No question. You know why? Because you know. <laughs> It was real, right? Listen here, <laughs> listen here, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can Tina, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a f***ed up comparison. No, yeah. it's not. Okay. It's life. It was real life. It's life. Beat he didn't beat her. Oh, I'm about to say, yeah, don't, don't put He didn't beat her. on the top of me. But I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 again. Sing the song, animated. Way we're, sing the song. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I wish we had the, you know, the time was like now. Where we could Where everything is video, video yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Because... The best record for me, and I tell her all the time, was Baby, Baby, Baby. Because that's a Scarface Jack. Yes. From Mary, 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 Mary. Mary, yeah, Mary. Yeah. And he's talking about getting high and fucked up. And her say, you got to sing this like the man you with. You getting high and fucked up with. Like you high on him. And he, she was singing. He was like, no, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, it was crazy. But it's, it shows you his genius. And it shows you the respect of an artist. Like when he... He did things with them. They listened. Like, you're talking about star. Like, they listened to his words and gave him his vision of where the record should go. And that's really what producing is. The making a beat is one thing. That's the beat making. The producing is of it, the vocal yeah, and how that things, get that yeah. emotion out of that yeah. song, is that's the production. What I want to give him credit for is that um, I think if anybody else had a Shanti. They had her. She had, like, three deals before Murder Ring. Wow. Do you yeah. understand? So believe me, she was out and about. Like, she's lucky I found her mm. and brought her in the herb. I re- I would bring her. She was like, "Is he gonna meet me today?" Yeah. <laughs> wow. She hates me. When I tell her I love her when I tell her because I was like, they would come to my office. She'd be like, "Shut up, sickly." She called me sickly, and she was like, "Uh, I was like, yo, is he gonna meet me? Am I gonna talk to him?" Her, her mother, and Linda. Mm. Her mother and Linda used to manage her. Okay. It was co-management. Then Linda, they got rid of Linda or whatever, and it was just her mother. But she'd sit in my office for an hour, two hours, waiting to just talk to Irv. And I would go scream on him, like, yo, come and say what's up to her, yo. And it, he'd come in, shake the hand, and walk out. <laughs> and he'd she'd be like, did he like my music? I'd be like, oh, yeah, he yeah, liked your music. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Knowing damn well he ain't listened to it. He ain't heard yeah, shit. He ain't heard shit, <laughs> yo. But I kept it going. Cause I, and then I, I put her on... Um, the pun record, mm. and with Fat Joe. Fat Joe said, "I need an R&B singer." This How to that. roll, right? How to roll. Yeah. And I said, "I got one." I called her up. She drove right from my house to the studio. Did the record. Fat Joe loved it. And then I tell Joe to do one thing. What's that? Call Irv. Mm. Tell him you got. The- so he calls Irv. He says, "Yo, your R&B singer. She's dope." Blah blah blah. He's like, "What R&B singer?" <laughs> Wow. And then once Joe did that, he's like, yo, he calls me up and says, yo, bring her to the stu- uh, studio. Let me meet her. Mm. And then that's how that really got started. Really. Dope. dope. And then You millions, know, Mary, there's yeah. a guy named Mario Baeza who had her signed, mm. AJM Records. So when you say that, a lot of people had her. And Mario's like an uncle for me and Irv, mm-hmm. right? And he he wanted Irv to make records for her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so he could bring it to Dick Parsons and try and bring it over to Warner. But once they got to making records, she was like, this is the sound. Because the records they was making was not it. Yeah. So, again, it's that production is everything. And then now she comes to Irv and making different type of sounding records that's really today and the you moment, know, yeah. on the edge. It was like she wants to be over. She was like, I want to be over here. Yeah. So then we had to buy out Mario. Mm. You know. Because she was on paperwork. Yeah. Um, And then... You venture back, well, you y'all got well, tales first. Yeah, tales. Uh, That's Irv's. Irv. So I try to explain. Murder Inc. is Irv's baby. Got you. Tales is Irv's baby. Got you. I'm the uncle. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but tales, man, tales is when he first thought of it. He was like, I want to make like tales of the crib. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like tales of the crib. Mm-hmm. Um. 
if you remember how Tales of the Crypt was, we you watch it and it'd be like this little crypt, decrepit old witch yeah, yeah, or yeah, something yeah, come yeah, up yeah. and basically give you the storyline of what's about to come up, mm-hmm. right? But he was like, forget that. We're going to use hip-hop. Mm. We're going to take our music, hip-hop, from our culture, R&B or hip-hop, and that storyline is going to be what we're going to... So when you hear that record, you know what the story's about. Got you. And that's really uh, where it stemmed from. And he sold that idea, got a deal. We're in our second season, finished our second season. We're about to get set up for the third season, mm. you know, and it's doing well. It was the second rated, uh, highest rated show on BET what are behind you doing? Mary Jane. What are you doing as far as uh, visuals? With visuals, we do the, so I, you know, I do adventure music with the independent side for okay. artists, all of these songs. So we empower not only actors, I, you know, I had to get used to saying actors and count women and actors because it was always actors and actresses. Yeah, because that's a masculine term. No, but yeah. now it's just actor. Oh, for real? For oh, women shit. too. So it's just actor. Gotcha. So the actors, for that's both. I it, I always got it because whenever I say it, it feels like I'm only talking about men. Gotcha. No, the men and the women, we're empowering new actors, you know, inside the tale. So when I seen after the first season, it was something that looked so, that was so powerful. He had a, a meeting with everyone that was part of the first season. All that, it was over 150 new actresses, actors, actors, actors. Yeah. Yeah, inside yeah. of this shot uh-huh. and the picture he took and I was like that's the impact like man you're empowering all of these uh, new actors that have a chance now they got something on their resume because it's scripted it's not reality mm-hmm. and like I said and, and it's an hour long you know our main one was a two hour show the fin- finale last year um, was a two hour show and then they expanded to 12 episodes this year so we threw in a couple R&B songs mm. you know Cause we want to do hip hop, then we want to do R and B, then we want to do pop, mm. country and western. It doesn't matter. This doesn't end. They all have stories. Got you. We want to do Latin, right? We want to go into different genres of music because they all have stories. Got you. Um, the music, you know, is just in another language. So be it. It's still a tale. Yeah. And that's what we want to do, and then create and create scripts around those like famous songs and make these one hour shows who so on um, when is we see all these uh biopics when when is this murder ink biopic coming well we have a, a unauthorized documentary that came out that is we got with the the person that made it cuz it's unauthorized but gotcha. he did a, he did an incredible job okay uh, what's his name uh, michael J- huh Peyton. I believe it's michael Peyton. Mm-hmm. um he did an incredible job. It's on YouTube. If you put in um, Irv Gotti or Murder, Inc., it's probably the first thing that pops up. Okay. Um, he did a really incredible job of putting it together, and now we hired him to actually do the one we was already about to do. So this will be the prelude to the main one. Now. Got you. Um, so, but we got a TV show, Murder, okay. Inc., uh, coming and that'll be on. It should be on. Is it a biopic or just? Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be like. Sopranos, let's say. So it's a weekly show like that, or season. It'll be just like that. But, you know, if you think Murder, Inc., there's so many moving parts, you can't make a two-hour movie. Yeah. It's so, too so much. It's, but it's going to be about y'all. Yeah. Okay. It's um, going to be about everything. It's going to be about us, Rockefeller, J- you know, everything you, we dealt with and brought in, Rough Riders, Def Jam, and the tr- real stories from it. Got you. You know, and then there'll be characters that is me or Irv and the artists, you know, the whole thing. And it'll be based on the real, the true stories. So, um, um, do you have a network, or are you still working on it? Yeah, we have a few, so I don't want to say. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're bidding yeah. on it. So yeah, yeah, dope, dope, dope. Knock on wood, there. So, <laughs> with your, with your, um, your, your music, your company, let them know the name of your company. Adventure Music. You know, it's a digital distribution Spell that. platform. ADD, because I'm, I'm putting exactly. things together. I'm adding ventures together. Ventures, V E N T U R E S. Music, M-U-S-I-C. If you go there to adventuremusic.com, you can see everything we're about. We do touring services that artists need from an independent standpoint. All these artists are, let's say, lost in their approach to business and how to be successful 
And my job is to teach you how to be basically a miniature version of Universal. Got you. you your know, own Universal, though. Your own. You own everything. I do not own your music. But if, with that being said, you pay for everything. I don't pay for your business. Got I don't you. pay for this podcast. Got you. Right? This yeah, is yours. Yeah, it's my It's your expense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's no different. And I'm trying to teach artists how to do that the, in the most effective way so they can make money. Because this business generates revenue. So what they probably want to know is that how do you make money off of it? Well, again, if think of it as a toll, you got to cross the bridge. You want you want your product to go from here to here. There's a there's a toll. Is it affordable for the? Of course, okay, okay. of course. You know, with TuneCore and all these other companies like that, CD Baby, you know, it, it's very affordable. But yeah. again, to me, if you get on one of those platforms, you're still missing so many, so much the stuff. Knowledge. The, the knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. Adventure music is about education. Those so, those platforms are saying, here, we're going to put you out there. But then you're like, okay, so. Now what? Now what? You, they don't know the analytics. They, they don't, don't know They don't anything. understand that. Yeah. And they don't know how, okay, so I need marketing and promoting. They still may not know how to do that. Yeah. You know, I need my record mix. They may not know where to go do that. So at, at Ventures so we, Music. Every doesn't. service you could think about, we could have it for you. Um, what, what, what made you come back? to music after so uh, it, 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 you know what do you say it keeps calling me yeah, man <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. every time I think I'm out they yeah, pull, they pull me, me back, back in, in. Yeah. that's that's true so when yeah. I got out then all of the producers was like yo could you manage me could you help me artists and, and then when you hear their music you're like damn that's hot so you know I started back and then again Adventures is a, something that I thought about years ago from the Napster days. Mm. So that's how long ago this st- really sparked the idea. And when I seen Napster and I kept, you know, Doug Morris would come and talk to us and he was basically saying how uni- uh, Universal, this company, Napster wants all the Universal's music for free and we're not giving it to him. We're like, yeah, you can't give it. It costs too much money. He's like, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, yeah. you know, and again, hindsight is twenty twenty. but the guy that did it is a guy named Sean Parker. I don't know if you guys, he's yeah, one who yeah, also yeah. helped create Facebook. Wow. So let's say he's he knows a little a something visionary. about that yeah, space. He's a visionary, yeah. And I always kept his words in my head and he was like, why should music be free? And it's it's technically it's free for the patron like it's goes it's like back to the patron of the arts is when you was in a town and you was a guitarist or you painted the the town would take care of you so you could continue your art. Mm-hmm. And that's to me what a stream is. Right? It's 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 free. It's like really? Netflix. You pay for the um, but you subscription. But could, you, could, you don't have to te- necessarily pay, right? You could mm-hmm. go to YouTube and free and watch yeah, it yeah, and yeah, it yeah, generates yeah, revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's free. Mm-hmm. I had an artist on YouTube that made over $4 million. Whoa. Right? It's a lot of streams, but it's still generated $4 million of revenue. Whoa. Okay, so at the end of the day. Do your company? A part of my company. See? Yes. I won't take all the credit. Sheet. Adventures music, though. But this is what I'm trying to oh, say. That's this a is fact. what this is what you can help. It can happen. Do. Yeah. Again, and she. How about this? I'll go even a step further. It was a female artist. She was young. Uh, went viral because she got on Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, this so there's a lot of factors that happen, but it doesn't mean it can't happen, right? Mm-hmm. It means that it's absolutely possible. Possible. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be Ellen. It could be something else that makes yeah. you go viral. And then she started streaming like crazy and. Again, she was doing all cover songs. It wasn't even original song. Mm. So when you understand the money, the writers is one side, but guess what else is another side? The performer. Mm -hmm. So even though it's not your music, it's still the performance is yours. The music, no, you give all those writers their part, now you get your part. So just imagine, she made four, there was another four for the other side. Meaning like rappers, you could go up there and kick somebody rhyme over. Yes, you could do it. Because they don't do that. But no one does it because rap is not looked at as... You're a biter. Yeah, yeah, you you're can't a biter. do that. Yeah. That's not even your rhyme. But that's karaoke, though. It's still yes. the same. But, but you could do it, and if you get views on it, it's your money from the performance side. The Whoever's original record is... Got it. Why did we... Why did, I don't think we should have put that out there. It's all good, yo. Education. Now, knowledge is Because now they're going to be like... Oh, I could do rap that? Rap a step to me. <laughs> they want to get some. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. They're they going to do it. But whatever, listen, whatever the It youth, doesn't mean that the people are going to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. <laughs> but somebody going to figure it out though. Yeah. They always do. Yeah. They always do. And But I tell every singer they, they should be doing cover songs. Facts. Um, it's that's just how you a, get discovered. Yes. And it it's, shows and your And it's range. a little harder to do original music as an R&B nobody or gives a f- artist. <laughs> where hip hop, I could bang, bang on his table, make a record. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can't do that in other genres, so it's a little bit more difficult. It takes a little more, let's say, resources, and that's why hip-hop is the number one genre in the world. Just saying Sweet Thing, just saying uh, Eye on a Sparrow. You know, those yeah. those songs, like, yo, listen, I'm going to give y'all a jewel. If you are a singer, go on YouTube, sing gospel. You will never get booed, and people will always mess with gospel music. It's the most inspiration. No negative, no negative That's comments. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because you, you, if they do, they're going, going to hell. Exactly. They're going to hell. If you go to the Apollo <laughs> Amateur tonight, sing gospel. They're not going to boo gospel. <laughs> no. They're going to clap because you're singing for God. That's right. That's, so, that's real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can't lose with gospel. So sing, uh, uh, sing Eye on a Sparrow. <laughs> sing uh, I Won't Complain. Sing one of them. Um, trust me, you're going to get the views, <laughs> and they're not going to leave a negative comment. That's you know real. What I'm saying? Yeah. That's real. So um, you got Adventures Music. Yes. And and I'm, you're doing lectures too, right? Well, I, I always, you know, there was an old commercial with Charles Schwab that I live by. Wow. Which is, yeah, which yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Charles Schwab was an investment company, and it was like, our educated consumer is our best customer. And that's mm-hmm. how I feel about mm-hmm. music right now. Gotcha. Like, everyone wants to be in it, but music is a very complicated business. I'm 32 years in the music industry. Mm. It's a lot of complications. I, I, that was my education. I've been in school, and I'm still in school. I'm still learning. So for someone to think they can start this music industry tomorrow... And know it all. They're out of their fucking mind. Mm-hmm. And you, you know what I'm saying. Especially the way it changes too. It's the algorithm. Changes. So at the, the end, algorithm in yes. itself is. I, don't, a, I can't spell algorithm. So. Yeah, but the <laughs> algorithm is the YouTube where where it's like these wave of all Nipsey Hustle videos. Yeah, and, and oh, if you're man. not doing one, you're not in the algorithm. Yeah. You know God, what I'm saying? God, God bless Nip. Yeah, bless man. Nipsey Hustle. But at the end of the day, people taking him and and saying, "Oh, I'm a dude, man." Good luck, God bless. You know, there's a reason that people are one of one. You know, mm-hmm. he's an original. He's one of one. Like, don't compare yourself. Be you. Yeah. But take his lessons and push forward, and you use it and apply it to your life the best way it fits you. Yeah. Because he gave you so many jewels in his his short time here, man. He gave. You see all the footage. You see, man, his body of work. Is, I did his first interview in New York. Wow. 2008. And you know, me and Nip was just talking. I know Nip for over ten years. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just sent someone out to Marathon and videoed them just a week before to video them. And, you know, we was doing, going to do something out in L.A. I was talking about Adventures because, honestly, he's the face. Yes. He should be. There's another artist that could have been the face, which was uh, Tech 9 mm. right? As an independent that's yes, very yes, successful, yes, yes, right? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. And I, I, I don't know Tech 9 but I would love to talk to him because I would be willing to bring him in to Adventures and talk to him and see if he'd be willing to be part of Adventures because he's the face. He could, exp- that no one could show you better or tell you better than he can. Yeah, he he's walked. so improved. He's so improved. He's got a, te- he got a, he got a track record and so does Nip. And then the persistence and consistency they both have or had with Nip is why they made it. So everyone could say what they want. Let's see you be as consistent. Yeah, as yeah. Me. Let's see you do that. And then his brother really summed it up to explain why I'm saying what I'm saying. He said uh, they would all get together. Um, this was at the eulogy, like, at mm-hmm, the end. And mm-hmm. he was like, they would all go out and, you know, they would all go out and try and hustle up some money. He said, and we go out and be out there for hours and come back with, like, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, and it would come back with 300 bucks. Okay, that's what I'm talking he got about. It. He He's got, got something he that got you it. don't have. He got it. Yes. Yeah. And, and everybody have to, don't have and it. And you have to identify that. Yes. See, one of the things that I've identified for me is I know my strong points. I know my weak points. So I'm not going to fight uh, doing things that I know I'm not good at. They and, got a meme that says out right now, and I said this in another interview, dudes will sink the ship if they can't be the captain. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fact. And that's up. But you know you got to understand it because everyone wants to be the captain or at least say they do, but they may not want to go through what the captain goes yeah, through. Because it's a lot of L's, there. man. It's a lot of L's. A lot of L's. Um, what's the stupidest thing you bought? Bought? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not that stupid. You did you ever buy anything and say what the f- did I buy this for? You spent. Nah, I promise okay. you, I'm not. I'm not that guy. Oh, okay. I yeah. never did. It's. Uh, I never. You know, I was blessed when I was young in my tw- teens and. I had jewelry, cars. Okay. I had like BMWs. And this is in an era where a Cressida was popping. <laughs> yeah, Toyota Cressida was a sh- 
You know what I'm saying? I'm pulling up in the BMW or the Mercedes Benz. I had motorcycles and jewelry. And, you know, at the end of the day, it was never, money was never, it, after that, it never motivated me the mm. same way. I wanted different things. And I really just wanted to take care of my family. That's all I did. So I never, the only thing I would say was stupid is I gambled stupidly. Okay, yeah. So if I had to say anything, it's got to be gambling. I could probably be a professional gambler. And I'm still, t- <laughs> seriously, and I'm seri- and I'm sitting here telling you, that that's probably the stupidest thing I've did. You still gamble but to this day? Absolutely, you can't. <laughs> he said absolutely. A, you that need is help, not right? A question. <laughs> well, you know the people that need help are quitters. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a <laughs> quitter, yo. Come on, doggy. How, how much? How much money have you lost? <sighs> Why you want to put this? That's on, on the, the air, books. Man. Yeah, that's on the books though. That that's because it's, it's it's on. The I don't want to think about it. Okay. <laughs> you wake up in a cold sweat the night, right? Like no, I've, I had yeah. big wins and I had big losses, so it's hard. So when you say a net. A net loss. I'm a loser in life in okay, gambling. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So I had great wins. I just came from a casino, won a few, you know, <laughs> some money. Not too long ago, maybe a week and a half or something. I took my daughter and my nieces to a, a bad bunny concert. I don't speak no Spanish or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they wanted, my daughter is half Puerto Rican. Okay. So she understands it, but my nieces are both black. They don't understand it, yeah, but they yeah. wanted to go. Yeah. And we went. And so it was us four, but she's the only one that even understood what he's saying. Yeah. But the concert was lit. Bad yeah. Bunny's on fire. Like, I'd actually seen a lot of things we could take from him, even though he's jacking everything from us. But it's all Bad good. Bunny's a guy? Bad Bunny is the biggest, one of the biggest Latin artists in the game. Yes, he's a guy. But it's a guy named Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny. All right, let's talk about something, though. No, nah, he's big, though. You should want to talk about it. I promise you. I, Listen to me. I'm confused. So though. I'm going to give you what it is. He's okay. He's the Latin Drake. Okay. But his yeah, name is Bad Bunny. You know who Bad Bunny is, right? So he's yeah. the Latin Drake. Holy. Drake did re- records with him. He's the reason Drake's rapped in Spanish. You understand what I'm saying? Like I'm so confused. That's how he's getting billions and billions of streams. streams. Yeah. Like and that's how we judge So what just so what you're saying is look at it to be able to extract information from how he's doing what he's yes. doing. And I try to tell people that so I get it. So I'm going to go look up Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny. That's yeah. right. Uh, okay. That's right. Um, you fought. Blame Chris Gotti. So, <laughs> listen, so when you see when you see me, if you look you, over my you, shoulder. You'll thank me later. Yeah, it's, it's Chris Gotti. You'll thank um, me later. You'll thank me later. Was but it ever a time where you wanted to change your name from Chris Gotti? I never had Chris Gotti. Chris Gotti, I inherited because Irv, 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 Irv yeah. Gotti. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a story. There's a, she's passed now, Polly Anthony. She was one of the top execs at Sony. Okay. Um, and we had to go pick up a check. It was over $100,000, $150,000 check. And Irv was like, yo, you got to go pick it up. And I was like, damn, I'm in a rush. I got to, I was like, all right, who do I got to go see? He said, go see Polly. She knows you coming, blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm on my way. I get over there. Yeah, it's, it's Chris Lorenzo. That's my real name. Mm-hmm. Chris Lorenzo. Here to pick up a check uh, from Polly Anthony. Oh, no problem. Have a seat. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. I hit Irv. Yo, what the hell's going on, man? He said, you didn't get the check yet? I said, I've been here over 30 minutes until nothing. All right, all right, I'm calling now. Calls her, she comes running out with the check in her hand. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm looking for his brother, Chris Gotti. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I, I won't, she's not here, so I don't want yeah, to yeah, talk yeah, bad, yeah, but yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. basically, what does the fucking check say? Yeah, 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 yeah. It says Irving Lorenzo, yo. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How yeah, do you yeah. think it's Gotti? Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay-Z gave Irv that name. Irv's first original nickname was Magoo. D- oh, I thought it was DJ Irv, too. No, DJ Irv was a yeah. DJ Irv. Magoo not, was his name. DJ Irv, to me, isn't a nickname. It's just he's the DJ and his name is yeah, Irv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His nickname was Magoo because he couldn't see. Wow. Like, he's always squinting. He's like Magoo, the cartoon character, the old Mr. man. Mr. Magoo, yep. So he was Magoo. And Jay was like, I don't like that name. Started calling him Gotti, and then it stuck to Irv, and then it stuck to me. My nickname was Joe Hart. Mm. Uh, so Joe Hart was that was my nickname. Everyone that knew me was called me Joe Hart, and then they stopped because it just switched. I didn't ask for it. it I inherited it, and it's nothing. I, again, I'm not mad at it. I it's, can't even picture calling you nothing else. Right, right I'm You're not just mad Chris at Gotti. it. Like I said, it, it wasn't like it was my choice. It was it just happened, and yeah. it, it makes sense why. If Irv is Irv Gotti, you got to be his brother. You're his Chris Gotti. That's it. And then any other siblings, is they last name is Gotti, too. Nah. I'm about to say, like, nah. yeah. like got, hey, this is Sandy Gotti. And nah. this is, this is, <laughs> no, yeah, Tina yeah. gets called Gotti now. Tina's one of my other sisters. They'll call her Tina Gotti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But she's the only one really in the music with us. Like, gotcha. she does all my stuff on my back end. So, But my other sister, Nikki, handles stuff for Irv. 
You Nikki Gotti. Yeah, but no, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, not yeah, in yeah. the circle. Like gotcha. Tina's in the middle with everybody. Gotcha. Oh, like, I've seen your sister before. Yeah, yeah she, she's she, in the middle with she everything. She's jumping and fighting. Yeah, and she, she, yeah she, 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 that's she, Tina. Yeah, she getting it in. Yeah. So. What's, all, what's all your social media? All my social media is Chris Gotti 187 because it's okay. still murder. Got you. <laughs> will, it, will it ever... Um, the website is Adventures Music. Adventuresmusic.com mm-hmm. and Chris Gotti on all social media platforms. Chris Gotti 187. Does Chris does Adventures Music have uh Instagram and all that too? Yep. Adventure Music on all social media platforms. And that's Facebook, it. Facebook, Twitter. Yeah. Okay. All of the You users, do Snapchat? The usual, no, I do not. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, That's not like a chick thing, right? Like, well, I, you know, that was for them, for the, you know, the premium. Snap, Snapchat me that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. for that. But again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not in that era. Yeah, no to more. me, that's not my era. Like. You know, that's the younger kids. I don't need to participate. I'll see it live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you, uh, you got a Facebook? Facebook, yes. Twitter, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram that's it. Chris Gotti one eight seven. Yes. YouTube, and YouTube, yeah, sorry. YouTube and is YouTube. very important. And oh. YouTube, yeah, I got a YouTube okay. page, but you know that's it. And then you could DM me on my thing. I respond to pretty he much resp- everybody. Listen, he responded to me Facts. and put me in contact with Dex Diamonds. Yes. This was two days ago. This wasn't okay. three months ago, right? It was two days ago, right? I answered yeah. thousands yeah. of DMs, man. So my, I, I respect my DMs were popping. Yeah, I, I respect somebody <laughs> for real. Who, for real, he didn't say who the fuck are you. Nah, who did you? Did you know what I'm saying? And, and he's how, here. You know how I look at it. If I'm really truly trying to empower people, I cannot take that approach. Mm-hmm. And I'm really, truly trying to empower. And the more, that's why I said the more people understand that's what I'm doing. Everything Adventure Music is doing is to empower independent artists, to help them in their business so they can move forward. And if they really follow that blueprint, they'll understand how come this company will be so big. He didn't bring me Adventure Music hat, though, not a sweater. I don't have one it. either. See? I, who, I'm out of t-shirts. Who we, it, got, who we got to yell at? No, I got to yell at I gotta, yeah. I'm say, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, start yell yelling. Yell at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some more. Don't worry okay, about it. Yeah. I'm about to print up a, bu- a, me, a bunch more. I got I wear it you. But I don't have closet. hats. I just do the t shirts. I do okay. white and black adventure music t shirts. My man keeps telling me, let's do sweatsuits. This I said, pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before we go, will there ever be a reemergence of Murder Inc. Records? <sighs> we know, Murder Inc. has a, is is alive, right? Mm-hmm. It has a new artist, Boogie Bird, Fitted Circle. Um, I think there's one more I can't remember. I'm bad <laughs> that Irv signed, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, Marcus. Jamal Marcus. Yes, 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 yes. Jamal Marcus. He's out of the, uh, Louisville. Um, and we still have a situation. Mm. Um, I cannot. Me personally, I tell Irv all the time. I said it's a different day and age, you know. And I don't want to compete with a universal. Mm. I want to take a Universal out. So mm. I don't feel we could beat Universal at their game. Especially at all the shit they did to y'all, too. Well, you know, Universal, Sony, Warner, I'm, I got a beef with all of them. Yeah. When I say Universal, that's really meaning the entire music industry, and they all cooperate. So when you're blackballed, it's a conversation with Universal, Warner Brothers, and Sony. It's not just Universal. Got gotcha. you. They're talking to the others like, let's not work with these guys. Wow. Okay. And I know all the guys that's running each one of those pl- uh, companies. And they be like, hey, what's up? They're still cordial. Yeah, They'll yeah, take yeah. my meeting, my calls. But mysteriously, it's never enough. Mm. And I'm not, I'm too seasoned in the game to not know or to know why I should have something when I watch you sign something else that's way less. Got you. Or not as valuable. So I get it. I don't argue. I don't need no one to tell me they like me. I get it. So it's up to Irv to... So to, to, to spearhead no, the listen, we are one. You know, okay. there's no divide in me and Irv. But at the end of the day, he's not being financed or having the muscle of a uni- uh, the, of a machine that gotcha. is needed when you have a record label, and that's why he's stagnated because he's really focused on television, TV, and move like the television and movies is really where he's at now. Got you. When he left music, that's what he wanted to do, and I guarantee you, I'll sit here and tell you right now, doggy, like. He's going to take over the music industry. I mean, the, the music industry just like he did in music. The, the, the movie industry. He's going to take over the movie oh, industry okay. just like he did music. You mm-hmm. mark my words with television and movies. Got you. The kid is a monster. I'm just glad I'm on his side. Yeah. Y'all look, y'all look alike. <laughs>
<laughs> so yo, um, yeah, I get a lot of credit yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the, you the older, so he look like you. Yeah, he hey, looks but, he looks older though. <laughs> I was happy when I seen his gray hair though, because I got gray hair too. So yeah, I was happy about that. I was like, yo, because people used to say, yo, you look like Irv Gotti to me. And shit. How the fuck go? Because we light skin, light skin, everything box, light skin, everything light skin, everything dark skin the same, yeah, yeah. everything light. Skin I lost the same. weight before they was putting you. You look like you could be Chris Brown father. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. We can't claim all light skin dudes because yeah. they they act light skin. Yeah. <laughs> we started this shit like that. We gonna end it like that. <laughs> so yo, I'm Doggy Diamonds. It's Doggy Diamonds. No filter. Thank for you know for Chris Gotti coming yeah. through. Appreciate Adventures you. Music That's ADD. Right. It starts with the ADD because he's adding on ventures. And all artists are ADD too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, good luck with that. Yeah. I, people hit me every day. Say, could you manage me? I be like. No, <laughs> sing go to Adventures Music. You know what I'm saying? They'll they'll hand you everything. Hit up Dex Diamond. He he, he, he he'll respond. D E X Diamond. He just That's don't right. got the S on his shit like me, but I got the S on my. Shit. But Dex Diamond. Make sure you go to Dex Diamond. Doggy Diamonds, no filter. We out of here. Peace. One. <laughs>